for our password generator in, uh, in this little series. Hi everybody, this is Sam with Python Basics, and today we are going to be embarking on uh, something a little different. So, password generator. So we're actually going to do this series uh, from start to finish. I know we can get it done in three videos. I haven't done I haven't done a practice run, but I know we can probably get it. I know we can get it done in three. Maybe we can get it done in two. So let's just go ahead and get started. So all right, if you're new here, thanks for joining us. Um, we typically do little micro videos, and we're going to experiment today with something. Uh, we're going to put all our skills together. So let's start designing and laying this out. So password generator, we want randomly chosen letters. So let's, let's kind of lay it out. Uh, we need to know the length. Uh, we want to know if it's going to be alphanumeric. So typically, so numeric, and then strength. Let's see if I can spell this. Okay, so we have to take this. So mandatory, optional optional so like I said we're gonna combine all our skills here so let's we need to start importing because if it's gonna be a password generator we're not doing it so it needs to be randomly chosen import random and if you're like me you're not gonna to want to have to type out all the letters so let's get string in here so let's kinda of think this through um, we're gonna need. Uh, let's just let's just start bringing this stuff in. So we need to have a refresher course on these characters. So we're gonna. How about we kind of break this up? Because if it's, we'll get some options on the strength. So let's just bring in as key lowercase as key letters. And we need to look at digits and punctuation. We have not done that yet on this channel. So let's just do string dot as key. I always forget I I lower case. So there's lower. <clears throat> Upper string dot digits and one that I know we haven't done is punctuation. So cool. So we're gonna leave this. So this is gonna be tied to numeric, and then how about we save this for uh, how we have three classifications so we kind of need to lay this out so length then uh, numeric we'll kind of set that to false at first and then strength and how we have three choices we have weak strong and then very we'll leave it like that so all right so let's just start laying this out uh, we'll do lower and that'll be this right here then upper this one right here then of course we'll do digits digits and then punct for punctuation so now we kinda just gotta lay this out of how 
how we're going to do this. So then we also need our actual password, and that'll be an empty string to begin with. And then we need to figure out how we're going to do this. So now that we have this kind of laid out, let's wrap this up in our function. And we know how to do that. Def password. So we're going to do length. Then number. Set this to false, like we were talking. And then our strength. We're going to, we need to cheat a little bit. We're going to set this to false right now. Because if we try to do this, and I don't know if we've actually shown this trick in Dent Region. It's all right. So here we are. Here are the basic building blocks of this. So all right, we're 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 kind of six minutes in, but here's our basic structure of we know what we have. We have our argument, then we have our three optional arguments, and then this is where we're going to pull. And then maybe next video we need to decide. Uh, so the first on the first setting, and then we need to discuss actually how many settings there are, because that is a little uh, that can be a little confusing. So I think this is a great stopping point right here for our password generator in uh, in this little series. So if there's anything in here that you have not that you do not grasp or understand, please drop a comment down below and I'll refer you to a video that has already addressed all these. But uh, thank you guys for watching a uh, little new experiment uh, with this and we'll do this in series until it is complete. So thank you guys for watching. Please make sure you're subscribed, hitting the notification bell and that, hitting that like button. And as always guys, thanks for watching, stay tuned and we'll see you next time. Bye guys. Hey guys, thanks for joining us today. I hope you really enjoyed today's video. And if you haven't, check out this video right here or this one right down here. And most important, make sure you're hitting this subscribe button and the notification bell. Thanks again for joining us and we hope to see you next time. Bye guys.